right guys, we're starting the video, right? Now, I don't know what's wrong with me lately. Every time I'm like, okay, it's time. I'm going to sit down tonight. I'm going to do a video, but I literally have to struggle for at least three hours minimum of procrastination before I start a video. So I've had enough of this. You know what I told myself? I told myself I'm gonna go get a piece of candy from the fridge. Yes, I keep my candy in the fridge. And if I sit down and record a video, I get a piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Mmm, I know. Such a child. That is good. Mmm, that's good. No, uh, I can't have the rest until I finish this. Man, I got everything in my teeth. I got nuts, I got chocolate, I got caramel, all stuck in my teeth. But anyways, for today's video, we are doing when you order versus when it arrives. This person ordered some Nike loafers off eBay and got some actual loafers made out of bread. Now you could really wake up every morning. Like, let's get this bread. And then slip these bad boys on and start your day. I'm not gonna lie, these look hella comfy. And they probably taste good. We love sesame loafers! When you shopping online, like, ooh, this dress looks so cute. Add to shopping cart! And when it arrives, what even is this? You can't even wear this. There's clothing, and then there's cloth. This, a piece of cloth that your mama would not approve of. My friend bought Yeezys off eBay, and this is what he got instead. <laughs> he got a Yeezy costume. That's the biggest Yeezy I ever saw. Where's the other pair? Did they at least send you two? But now, not only can you wear your Yeezys, you could literally become a Yeezy. The dream of hype beasts nationwide. Become a Yeezy. I've heard so many stories stories like this. Like when you try to buy designer shoes off sketchy sites, you'll never know what you're gonna get, okay? This girl thought she was getting this dress. Ooh, look at that. You know, so cute for a special night out. And then she ends up getting this. I don't know if it's like five sizes too big, but all I can tell you is that ain't it. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's really not it. So I ordered this hoping to look like him, but I just really look like a gay priest. Just thought I'd share in case you're in need of a good laugh. So he got a poncho. <laughs> And put it on. Well, now I know what a gay priest looks like. First of all, I don't even know who would look at that picture and be like, damn, that's cute. I'm gonna order this camel poncho. This ain't it. This girl thought she was gonna have the most beautiful prom dress. And then it comes in the mail. What are those? W what are those? It's got two circles smack dab in the center. We got good coverage up in these dresses. The original dress don't have that. It's got nothing like that. It looks nothing like that. This is a disaster. I wonder who designed this. Like, who was making this dress and thought this was gonna look great? I mean, the rest of my Snickers. Not sponsored. So these people ordered a lamp made of branches on Etsy and ended up getting this abomination. <laughs> Ew! They didn't even let it in the house. They're like, we gonna put it back in nature where it belongs. Over here, we have a beautiful looking sandwich. And when you open it up, it's nothing but lies. This is clickbait in real life. Like you look at it like, mmm, she looked thick. Double stuffed at everything. And then you open her up. She ain't even got meat. Where is the meat? Y'all must be kidding, right? Who gonna eat a sandwich with lettuce and cheese? Oh, it say vegan on it. Okay, never mind. It's for the vegans, you know. It's either grass or this. Oh my goodness. Look at this blanket. It's so beautiful and plush. Let me add to cart. What is this? What is this? What is this? Bruh, you gonna tell me she really ordered that and got that. This is robbery right here. But I mean, that blanket looks like it costs at least $200. And she probably paid $19.99. You always get what you pay for. This guy ordered a laptop on eBay. And he opened up the box and got a photo. Black and white. It ain't even in color. Of the laptop. What like equals one laptop for this man. This is the saddest story I've ever seen. A long time ago when I first started shopping on eBay, I was always terrified of this happening to me. Because when you're buying it, you don't know that you're buying a picture of the item. You don't know what that gonna send, you don't know what's wrong with it. We can't trust these hoes. So this girl ordered a Joyfei giant teddy bear. Six and a half feet white. Left a one star review. Hideous. The legs are like four feet long making the bear look like a creepy gumby thing. I got this for Valentine's Day and would rather have a cheaper, more proportional bear. I mean this isn't even cute. <laughs> 
Look at him, he's chill with his long ass legs, don't even fit on that couch. You wanted a big ass bear? You got a big ass bear. Ain't nothing wrong with his legs, he's beautiful the way he is. I feel like those will make a really good pillow anyway. Or like wrap them around you. Don't listen to her, Teddy, I think you're cute. <laughs> but imagine this with the lights off. Like you come downstairs, the lights are off, you see this thing sitting on your couch. <gasps> Hell no. Oh my god, these flowers are so cute. I'm gonna get them for my girlfriend. It's like a little lion. When it arrives. Ah, what is that? It got googly eyes. It don't look anything like what they ordered. Y'all didn't put the flowers in water. Y'all put them in vodka. They look a little up. This girl ordered some pants. You know, they cute and all. And then she gets them. And they're almost as tall as her. Seriously? Do y'all think I'm Slender Man? No, but maybe you just short. Nah, but for real, I know that struggle. Sometimes they make pants like that just way too long. Like, you must be at least six feet to wear our pants. Sorry. Over here, we got the expectation. You order this online, and when it arrives, this is so sad. It's the saddest version of the dress. Again, clickbait. I know these tricks. They lay the dress on the ground, trying to make it look all cute in the pictures, and then when you get it, it anything but cute. Over here, we got a soft artificial sheepskin rug chair cover artificial wool warm hairy carpet what for $11.55. Well, y'all wanna pay $11.55 for a rug, that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get $11.55 worth of rug. Seriously though, if the artificial, like a full size one, is gonna be like mm, $20 at Ikea, right? That don't even look like a rug though. It look like a seat cover. Not even a seat cover, a stool cover. So somebody ordered these shoes online. I got these shoes. Why? Something ain't right here. It's like the sole of the shoe was a size six and then the rest of the shoe was a size 10. And whoever was making the shoes was just like, takes glue, glues them together. Perfect. Fashion. They'll buy anything. Yeah, you know what? That's exactly what it is. Like, look at this. The actual shoe does not match the sole. And they were just like, okay, this works. Must be a newbie that made those shoes or something. How something looks online versus how it looks on me. <gasps> oh. Okay, we gonna have to take this off. Maybe if you wear a belt with it, it might fix it. Just kidding. The only thing you could do to fix that is return it. Cause this ain't it. Here we got this pretty little tie-dye dress. Perfect for Coachella. When it comes in the mail. Man, it's a little short. Man, that don't even look like tie-dye. That's not even tie-dye. What is that? Y'all selling a tie-dye dress, but couldn't even tie-dye it. Scammed. PayPal Resolution Center. Now. Oh my god, so I saw these cute little group cupcakes on Pinterest. And what the hell is that? This is what happened when you put the Michelin man in the oven and bake him. I'm not gonna lie, they're kind of cute. Looking like a thick ghost snack. Another one! I'm telling you, this gotta only happen on eBay. He ordered an Xbox One and FIFA, and he got this. A picture of an Xbox One and FIFA. Imagine the seller right now, like, whoo! Time to close my eBay account, close my PayPal, withdraw that money, and get the hell out of this country. That's a wild scam. Pretty sure these aren't 32 inches length. Either this person really short, or those hella long. Oh no, they hella long. Look at them next to the regular jeans. See, these are regular jeans, and these are the 32 inch jeans. Mmm, your pants are a little long. I wonder what the extra inches are for. I thought I bought the cutest little PJ set from Ann Summers until I looked closer at the pattern. Whoa! an old lady store and they sell us stuff like that because the grandmas they can't see they just go look at it from afar like this is the cutest little thing for my granddaughter i can't show you what's on it or this video will get demonetized but it's basically people getting it on butt naked don't buy a teddy bear off those chinese sites or you'll get this Stuff your own teddy bear. You know what? We didn't want to stuff it ourselves and have to pay shipping for that. Because if we stuff it and ship it to you, we're going to pay hella shipping. No, you can stuff it yourself. I wonder if that's why. But now y'all know what a teddy bear with no stuffing looks like. So Amazon was advertising this cup that changes color when you pour hot water into it. So it goes from black to blue. And then this person got this <laughs> and left a review. Bad product. I bought this cup for my wife, expecting it to change from a black cup to a Christmas scene. Nope! Looks like they printed the demo image on the cup and not the actual pretty Christmas scene. Trying to get my money back for a horrible and ill advertised item. That's pretty messed up. But I mean, maybe it was your fault for thinking that it would change color. But they was trying to sell a cup that had this specific image on it. And that's exactly what you got, sir. Can find 
Big Boy's armchair, dark brown leather red. Only $86? Man, it's your fault. You pay $86 for a chair and it says boys on it. Are you a boy or are you a man? You get what you pay for. Oh my God, look at this sweater. It's so cute. It's got like mitts for pockets that you could put your hands in. Whoa, well she got it. The mitts are up here. They ain't down here. Imagine having pockets over here. This is why you shouldn't order a dress on eBay from China. Oh no. No honey. Honey, it's not even white, it's green. A lime green. Ain't nobody want a lime green dress. How are you gonna have this picture for sale? And then send them this. Doesn't the seller like stop and think like, hmm, do they look nothing like this? Maybe the customer will hate it. Nah, clickbait. It's like some YouTubers, their clickbait is insane. Like they will Photoshop some insane image and be like, this is what the video is about. And then you click the video and it has nothing to do with that. Like, don't y'all feel bad? Y'all basically scamming your viewers. <gasps> this shirt is really, really cute. I love it. Where can I get it? Oh no, never mind. I don't want it. Some kind of plastic, definitely not cotton. What is that? That looked nothing like what you ordered. Go get your refund. It's me, your favorite French YouTuber. Duh. It's been far too long, but I am here. So, you know, prom is coming up. Or it might have happened for a lot of you guys. I don't know. Comment below. When is your prom? I don't know. I haven't been to school in years. Literally the only perks of being an adult. No more school. Today, we're going to be checking out some of the worst prom dress fails. I'm just trying to help you guys not get on this list, okay? No, you should never order a dress or outfit for a fancy event from China. First of all, it's probably going to take a few weeks to get to you and by the time it gets to you you try it on and you have this disaster but promise tomorrow what are you gonna do what are you gonna wear how did she order this and end up with this what even is this it's like you took this picture of this wonderful dress and they promoted the dude that usually makes socks into making dresses and on his first day on the job he looked at this picture he was like okay you know what let's do this and then somehow ended up with this he was like ah it's like I tried so hard, I got so far. In the end, you failed this poor little girl on her prom night. Look, guys, it's my favorite Pokemon. Giardos, is that you? Oh no, it's 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 a prom dress. I honestly think this kind of looks cool. I love spikes. It's like a spiky mermaid. It's a little weird, but like I would rock this. See, I don't know the story behind this. This looks like a fitted satin sheet, just like, you know, draped around. And then we gotta cut out a hole. I want my future daughter to attend her first prom with me. Surprise, I'm going with my child. Or I want everybody to know that I am pregnant. There's a child inside me. She don't look too happy. She don't look like she even like her dress. <laughs> What's going on? What are you giving me that look for? Okay, I'm scared. When he says he likes Skittles. Oh baby, then you'll love me. Skittles dress. Nice. These are all the wrappers of all the Skittles I ate throughout my high school years. That's a lot of Skittles. I mean, looking at this, it looks kind of dangerous. Like those straps could like just snap at any time. But I mean, if you love Skittles this much, who am I to judge you? You following your dreams? And I'm just a hater. Here, I have for you today the most epic of epic prom dresses. We have a Team Edward and a Team Jacob prom dress. And, and, and they light up. Up. Edward is ice because you know he's a vampire and then Edward because he's a hot-blooded werewolf and it lights up in fire Oh, wait, is this the same lady? This cannot be the same lady. I think it's oh my god It's the same lady. I thought it was she like co-conspired with her friend to like do this But no, she got one side team Edward and one side team Jacob <laughs> I mean, whatever makes you happy. The real Edward and the real Jacob. This is the only way that both of them would come to prom with me. Print their faces and glue it to my dress. Put a light up wreath around it. Nothing says love like this dress. Y'all thought that was bad? Since prom is coming up, make sure that you don't order your dress online. Yeah, see, I feel like it's so tempting. Like, mmm, $9.99 for a dress like this. But when you actually get it, it's like, okay, now I see why it was $9.99. And I feel like you gotta have this happen to you to learn your lesson. I know it's so tempting to buy something super cheap online. But you're probably gonna get something super cheap and be like really disappointed with it. I mean, there's like plenty of stores that sell like prom dresses really cheap, but this. <laughs> going on in this region over here. Just two circles, but a man made this. He's like, oh, we need coverage for the goods behind this sheer material. You know what cuts it out in the shape of a boob? Boobs are circle, right? 
Nailed it. What is that? This is the dirtiest did of the century. They did you so dirty. That is not even the same color. You thought you were gonna be princess of the forest, but you really ended up being girl of the fake wood floor. <laughs> I don't know what this is, and it looks like green is her favorite color, judging by her green backpack. It's like, I thought I was gonna match with my backpack. We're gonna be so cute. Do this fancy AF photo shoot in the forest. And then you get this. It's like, what now? I'm out $9.99. I feel like something like this would cost like at least like $80. Like if you want one that like looks legit. But if you want to take your chances with a $9.99, this is probably what you're gonna get. When you're extra, extra and read all about it. <laughs> She made a newspaper dress. That's a lot of newspapers. Oh, a 60 year old man's dream. <laughs> Who else reads the newspaper? I don't know, I feel like this might have sounded like a good idea. Like, oh my god, I could actually make a dress out of a newspaper? Say it ain't so. You know, the look on her face, instant regret. This ain't how I imagined it. This is how I used to do my makeup in high school. <laughs> Skittles girl got some competition because now we got Doritos girl. Represent that cool ranch, the best one. Comment below, what do you like? Cool ranch or nacho cheese? <gasps> Wow, actually ruined the photo. It is the law of the land. You must only drink Mountain Dew with your Doritos. There will be no substitutions. This is just disrespectful to the whole Doritos gang. <laughs> Even know what to tell you. She looked like hella proud of herself. Like, mm, got this custom couture. Make me look like I'm a psychedelic power outlet. I don't know, power outlet got two holes. I don't even know what this looked like. It's so mesmerizing in the worst way possible. Imagine your arms being constricted like this is as much as they go. Any more that you lift your arms, the whole dress skirt part will like lift up with it. I don't like being constricted. I mean, she looked like the happiest girl in the world. I don't like this. So stupid. I can't believe she is outside wearing this catastrophe. I mean, some people really like Winnie the Pooh and it just happens to be these two. What's the point of this? How you gonna like Winnie the Pooh this much that you gonna print him on your prom dress? It's not even like the real Winnie the Pooh. Look at that, look at that face. That looked like an off brand. It's almost like it came with the dress. It was like a buy one, get one free. You buy the dress, we give you the vest for free. Perfect to wear with your honey. <laughs> What is this? Oh no, this is a prom dress? This is a prom dress. Girl, what did you buy this monstrosity? Look at like a chicken mid-plucking. Like you know when you pluck all the feathers off of it, but like some of the feathers weren't plucked off and then you got this abomination of a dress. What kind of store sells something this bad? This looks like this is in like a Macy's fitting room or something. I wanna know what kind of store is gonna do their customers this dirty, like what is this even? Let's splotch random feathers along this. I'm disappointed for you. Received my beautiful prom dress I ordered online. Big, big yikes. I mean, to be honest, did you really think the dress was gonna look like that? Like this picture is probably like a several thousand dollar couture designer dress. What these sellers do is take a really nice picture of an expensive product, like a designer dress, like an Instagram photo that looks really nice, and they make their own version of the item, which will be a very garbage version. They'll basically use clickbait pics to catfish you into buying this. That's exactly what this is. This is catfishing, but with clothes. It appears I have been cloth fished. Lol, that was funny. But yeah, it sucks because you can't really return something to China. You know, when you return something, you have to pay like return shipping. When you ship things out of China, it's extremely cheap. But shipping things to China is extremely expensive. All they do is give, 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 and refuse to take. I don't know why I whispered. Ain't nobody here, I can be as loud as I want. Next dress we have here. What happens when you buy a prom dress from China? Love it. Oh, at least she loves it. What the hell, man? That looks like a regular dress that you could buy from your local Ross. It doesn't look like a prom dress. It looks absolutely nothing like what she bought. Like, look at all the details and stuff. Like, that dress is so pretty. And then over here, you got Aunt Nancy's Easter dress that she bought for $8.99. There's nothing wrong with that. I go to Ross and buy myself an $8.99 dress. But like this, it just doesn't look like anything special. This dress is a bigger disappointment than the last episode of Game of Thrones. You know, when you gotta flex on everybody else at your school. Wear a money dress. The money ain't even real. Is this what they mean when they say, you look money, that fit money. Does anybody say that? I feel like I've heard it before, but like this has gotta be the ultimate flex. 
flex so hard my bank account dropped to zero. I feel like this is when you asking to be robbed. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, wow, that's really something else. It's not even the same material. I wonder what the person who made this was thinking. Just like, hmm, I have to replicate this dress. Okay, I, you know what, I, I got it. Paint some random splooges, various colors. Yeah, that's it, we got it. Masterpiece right here. Yes, a masterpiece indeed. Masterpiece of eternal disappointment. Yeah, I need my glasses for this one. What are they even wearing? Wait, they're just like a floating head. I get it's a fail, but it's like in the wrong fold or something it's like what am I looking at I don't see anything where's the fail comment below I'm not seeing anything way to ruin a cute dress this was on her she ruined her own dress yeah let me just have somebody like airbrush trap girl on the booty what even is a trap girl I know you probably have some business in the trap house trap girls are very good athletes being able to run fast oh they do they do a lot of things fast not but for real though everybody in high school and middle school was like obsessed with like these airbrush shirts that say like baby girl gorgeous beautiful or if you were extra fancy you would get one that like says your name on it like everyone knew you got it custom at Disneyland or wherever the heck you get these from and it would be like the weirdest flex but okay these are Japanese batteries that are powered by pee pee I'm not even kidding bacon bandages so delicious it will heal your wounds Hello friends, it's me. Today we're checking out weird and crazy things you can actually buy on the internet. Do you have a super boring lame phone that doesn't bend? I mean, unless you try hard enough. What? It looks like a chocolate bar on the back. So it's divided into grids and that's how it gets so bendy. Oh, I like this. Innovative indeed. You telling me it doesn't break. It also looks like those really dank garbage touch screens at the airport that don't always work when you touch them. For $27.20, you can get this piggy bank box that actually moves its face and eats the money. What? Oh my lord, this is terrifying. He got a chin, he got an upper lip, and first he sucked the coin, then he sucks your soul. Man, this is Satan's piggy bank. This might shock you, but somebody sold their imaginary friend for almost $3,000. What? So she posted this photo and said she was chilling with her imaginary friend Bernard. You go sell your homie just like that? Joke's on you, free $3,000, he coming straight back to me and you'll never know. Imagine being that desperate. $3,000 for a dude named Bernard that don't even exist. You know what, million dollar idea here. It's like that show, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. <laughs> Except they're selling the friends. It's the internet, you go find some lonely person that be like, yeah man, I got $3,000, let me get that new, new friend. It's sad. Bro, literally just sit there. If you focus hard enough, mm, you can make one. Bam! I got Olivia right here. Who wanna buy her? Bidding starts at $1,500. For the low price of $8.99 plus $5 shipping, you can send somebody a potato with a custom message on it. Written in premium black gel ink. You mean Sharpie? It's got five stars. No better way to express your feelings. In 2017, I know. Last decade. A Cheeto resembling the Gorilla Harambe, smash like if you remember, was put up on sale on eBay. It sold for $100,000? Dang Cheeto? Bro, are you serious? Who gonna pay a hundred thousand dollars for a Cheeto that somebody touched? I don't care what it look like, it's still a Cheeto. Must be nice. Oh man, I got so much money. I'ma spend a hundred thousand of it on a dang Cheeto that look like a monkey. Okay, Elon Musk, I bet you it was him. For $50, you can buy a karaoke earphone. So before you go out and karaoke with the friends, it connects to your own earbud and has a funnel where you can hear how awful your voice is. So your self-confidence can drop to zero and you can cancel the karaoke plans. I speak for myself. Whenever I'm in the car, chilling, singing to my songs, I'm like, ooh, I sound so good. Have you guys ever like sang and then recorded yourself? Oh my God, mine. Oh. I thought I was out here killing it. Yeah, killing my own eardrums after I recorded myself singing and then played it back. It was so bad. Like, I could not believe somebody could sing this horribly. Oh, this is for 
for me! Meat shredder claws! You could be Wolverine and you could like cut the rotisserie. Oh, this is genius! I need this. I'm buying it now. They say a surprisingly efficient way to shred your meat. Heck yeah, it is! I love shredded and cut meat, but ain't nobody got time to slice each individual thing when you could just like absolute genius. Over here, we got an owl vomit kit that you can buy on Amazon. Oh my god, I thought there were mini baked potatoes. So somebody specifically takes the owl throw up, packages it up in some aluminum foil, and it's like, here you go, children of our generation. Go crazy, have fun. Better than Fortnite. So there's actually something that some biology classes do. It's supposed to be scientific, maybe learn something. Well. Oh look, a rubber ducky. But this ain't your average regular rubber ducky. So somebody sold this on eBay and it supposedly has the power to possess whoever it is in the bath with. Your child, your grandma, Belle Delphine. All you gotta do, pop it in the water with them. Wham, bam. They are now possessed, ma'am. So apparently it has no guarantees to work. I could be like, y'all see this tube of chapstick? Ain't no regular lip moisturizer. Has the power to possess you. No guarantees though. I mean, anything could be like that. You know, Etsy, they have a lot of crazy DIY stuff. But someone took a real dead mouse and made a hair clip out of it. You know, nothing says kawaii. Like dead rat on your scalp. Why? I know, it's like, oh, it's cute and cuddly, but no thank you. I think I'll pass. You know, people who buy Apple products are crazy. Mm, they're just so overpriced. But you know what? People still buying them. And now we got a Mac-inspired candle. So if you can't afford a MacBook, you peasants can buy a new MacBook smell-inspired candle. I bet I Justine's house reeks of this. Wait, what does a new MacBook smell like? Is it like a new car smell? Do they actually got candles like that? That smell like chemicals and paper? You know what a new MacBook smells like? Privilege. I refuse to buy one until they put them USBs back in. Nope. Nobody want lightning bolts. Sick of you. If y'all grew up in the 90s or early 2000s, you remember the Chia Pet. And now they got a Chia Pet Gremlin. Y'all looking at this like, Gremlin? That's Baby Yoda! Is it not? Instantly sold out. So basically you just like water this, there's seeds inside, and it grows. Not impressed. Here we got some finger covers for cheesy food. So if you are a huge you scared of a little Cheeto dust? We got these little finger covers for you. Wait, you got access to finger covers, but you ain't got access to soap and water? Like, why can't you just wash it off? And isn't that like the best part? After you eat a bag of Cheetos, oh, it's all finished. And then you remember you have like the Cheeto dust on your fingers and it's like, mm, mm, the last of my cheesy snack. You know what? I didn't know this existed. Temporary pockets. No purse, no pocket, no problem. You could buy a strip that like sticks to fat and I don't think this is going. How reliable is this? Can this hold my phone? Can this hold my keys? You no, know, if you got like a jacket, you open it up. Ain't those pockets and you just slap that bad boy in put all your stuff in oh this is useful buying this right now actually so this next one is about a mother who didn't know what to call her fourth child like man I already had to come up with three names what are we gonna call the fourth one I I ain't got that kind of brain power to figure out what I want to call the fourth one. So she decided to sell the rights to her child's name. So like, hey, eBay listen, what you want to call my newborn daughter? And it was bought by an online casino for $15,000. They named the child Golden Palace, which is the name of their casino. That poor child gonna grow up Golden Palace. Her full name, Golden Palace Hushkel. Now that is one big yeah. Would you sell your child's name for $15,000? Comment below. That's a lot of money. Golden Palace ain't even that bad of a name. Like, first name Golden, short for gold. Hopefully she doesn't end up marrying someone whose last name is Digger. If the imaginary friend wasn't good enough for you, you could get a USB pet rock. You can't handle a cat. We ain't got time for a litter box. Man, I can't even keep this plant alive. Pet rock it is. It even got a guide. The care and training of your USB pet rock. But does it even plug in? What happens when you plug it in? What that rock do? He just sit there? At least you could pet him. If you get mad, you could throw him and he'd be fine. Man, people buy anything. You see these batteries? These are Japanese batteries that are powered by pee-pee. I'm not even kidding. Just walk on over to the toilet, take the little dropper, get yourself a sample, and then squeeze it. Why? How does this even work? I can't 
power my remote control with some pee. This don't make no sense. Over here, we have the comfy cup. The cup holder that attaches to virtually anywhere for the low price of $16.99. So if you're on the subway, you can just like Stick your drink right there. You don't have to hold it. If it spills on anybody, you could just be like, ain't mine, not my responsibility. I'm not sure if this is a good idea or just unnecessary. Whoa, bacon bandages. And you get a free prize inside. Yo, these are pretty dope. I'm not gonna lie. This is the regular boring band-aids. You plaster your boo-boo with a bacon strip. So delicious it will heal your wounds. Nice. Oh, I've seen this in stores before. A mobile phone jail cell. Okay, I need to get this for myself, but this doesn't work unless somebody's going to forcibly take your phone and then put it in the jail and then lock it and then not give you the keys. But then if it's just you, it's up to just you and your willpower. This kind of sucks. If I was a mother, I would buy this for my child. 2020, you can get an attachment for your car cup holder where you can pop some fries right in there. McDonald's fries, only good when eaten within the first three and a half minutes of receiving them. I mean, can't you just like eat it out of the bag like a regular person? I mean, if you this extra and it's like a daily thing and it would make your life so much more convenient, go ahead, pay that $12.95. You can buy a fake mayonnaise jar. Man, what are you gonna do with a fake mayonnaise jar? So they don't eat your real mayonnaise. So it actually has a hidden pocket and you can hide your valuables in it. Jewelry, car keys, money, you on the beach and there's just like a mayonnaise jar just laying around. Ain't nobody gonna touch it. No one gonna steal it. I mean, or you could put it in a diaper and make it look like a dirty diaper. It's kind of like the same thing. I don't know. People do crazy things to hide their stuff on the beach. Or you know, you could just put it in your car. Friends, it's your favorite off-brand banana. Last time we checked out knockoff food, we got Kellogg's Frosted Flakes, and we got Crown Fields Frosted Flakes. They're acceptable. Chicken wing chips. They ain't even nacho cheese flavor. I can't believe it's not butter. Could it be butter? I think it tastes like butter. I think it tastes like chicken. Now, more bootlegs. Look at this dude. Who is this? Smash like if you know who this is. Special man. Duh, obviously. Yes, he is a, indeed a special man. That's what the S on his chest stands for. Special, not super. Special. So special he got a donut for a hand. Now that's not your average man's right there. Here we got an old pair of Mike. Or is it Mikey? It's got the swoosh. It's like, ah, close enough. Ain't nobody gonna know the difference. Nike, Mikey. Same thing. Let's cut a little bit of the swoosh so it's not 100% accurate. Nike be like, just do it. Mikey be like, you can try it, but you might fail. Either way, we don't care. <sighs> Hey, have you seen the new iPhone? Yes, apparently it's a shoe now. Y'all couldn't even call it iShoe. No, iPhone. Got the Apple logo and everything on it. Is this what some countries think an iPhone is? A shoe? Why would you put it on a shoe? That's like putting a potato on some orange juice, being like, here, it's a potato. No, it's orange juice, but it's got a potato on it. I mean, technically that would make more sense because both of those are food. This is an iPhone on a shoe. Ugh. Y'all could have even called it an I run, I walk, I jog, I stupid. <laughs> I don't know what it is with Google, Nike, and Apple. But now there's some Google toilet paper made from 100% virgin pulp. Whatever that means. Can't wait to Google that Taco Bell I had for dinner. But what is virgin pulp? It's toilet paper. Do trees got pulp? Dolce and banana. Seven jeans. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. It's supposed to be Dolce & Gabbana, but they got a whole nother store called Dolce & Banana. That sounds better. That sounds like a really good Starbucks drink. <laughs> Imagine sending your child to school with this. Chances are they'll have no idea what any of it even means. Where do I even begin? For the title, we have Harry Potter. You know, I heard that was pretty trendy. We're gonna put it on the backpack. You know what is also trendy? Obama. We're gonna put that in vertical colored text. And then this dude over here, he could be Harry Potter. Or maybe it's Obama. Poor Sonic, what have they done to you? They couldn't even color your face correctly. Sonic has graduated from Hedgehog to presidential wizard candidate. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they really put Chuck E. Cheese tokens. Oh my god, they're actually Chuck E. Cheese tokens. I was just saying that. Y'all been paying thousands of dollars for Bitcoins when this whole time they were just Chuck E. Cheese tokens. Now you can buy them at your local Walmart. Prapa, knockoff of Prada. Man, I'm surprised they don't shut this establishment down. Can we copy strike Prapa? <laughs> 
<laughs> they did not. They took the Internet Explorer logo and put it on some sunscreen. It's got the Internet Explorer logo. That's how you know it's not gonna work. <laughs> I mean, it's not like anybody even uses Internet Explorer anymore. Might as well sell it to the highest bidder. And by sell, I mean steal. And by highest bidder, I mean this foreign sunscreen company. Doesn't even belong. So the street has a bunch of clothing stores named after apps. What's app? Menswear. Google. The fashion gallery. Misspelled gallery. Play store. Fashion world. Why? The play store is where you go buy app games, not clothes. Y'all couldn't have thought of a better name. You could have called your store Neon Green Blouse and would have been a more fitting name than play store. Man, I walked in to buy some pants. Not Minecraft Pocket Edition for Android. Let's go to Google. Again, I'm trying to buy underwear. It's like these names have nothing to do with the store. Do these store owners just like open up their phone? They're like, mm, Play Store. Okay, you know what? Let's open up a business, a clothing business called Play Store. What? Here we got some air listeners. Not AirPods, air listeners. You know, that makes more sense. You can listen to the air. Oh, look, an advertisement for Microsoft Bimbos. Sorry, we ain't got Microsoft Windows. You mean Microsoft Bimbos? Just straight up steal the logo too. Like y'all couldn't have one ounce of creativity. It's basically the same thing spelt differently. So apparently this is a store that sells used PC parts. And Bimbo means poor. So I guess it's just a cheap place to buy PCs. <laughs> Beats by Dre? Never heard of him. What's that? Here we got Deets by Nanny. Deets. Ooh, for the low price of $10. That sounds like a pretty good deal. Okay, but what are Deets? I put them on. They're gonna whisper details in my ear. Who's Nanny? Like Nanny? Details by what? <laughs> Here we got a lovely delicious mini can of Rid Bull. Rid Bull, and it is a fruit drinks. So does it give you wings or not? Nah? It ain't give you wings, it give you acne. <laughs> Here we got a Nintendo Poly Station. Wait, wait, Nintendo? And a Poly Station all in one, but it's got a PlayStation logo. What, what which is it? And, and by Namco, oh, it's got built-in programs. I'm like, what if you get a PlayStation disc or like a Nintendo game and then try to put it on this console, but that doesn't work. It's like, no, we only play our boot like games on this console. This is a disgrace. To gamers worldwide. Mighty Mutant Power Turtles Battle. The Secret of Goo? What is this? BHS Video Gum? Is, it, is this a VHS? But why is it BHS? What does the B stand for? Is it edible? Why is there toilet paper? Oh my god, they're not even turtles! What is this abomination? It's a bear! And then we got a rabbit and, and, a, and a mouse and, and a reindeer? It's gotta be the most epic collab of Mighty Mutant Animals. I don't know why they're gonna call them turtles when these clearly are not turtles. Turtles. Or maybe they're turtles like disguised as animals. Either way, I'm confuzzled. Crispy hexagons. Mm, my favorite cereal. It's like Chex, but with more corners. So it makes them automatically better and crispier and crunchier. Like they didn't even try. Instead of Chex, you could have called it Hex. This is so lazy. <laughs> We have another fun backpack over here. The Amazing Star Wars. Oh, my favorite Power Ranger. The Amazing Star Wars has all the best moves. Man, where was this dude when they needed help with Thanos? <laughs> Look, they back at it again instead of Mike is hike. Go take a hike. Oh my god, I just realized. They took out a mini swoosh in the swoosh. So it's like two swooshes. So instead of Nike, hikey. Is it hikey or hike? Wow, there's really knockoff Nokia. It's like the bottom of the phone food chain. And it's called Nokla. Nokia to Nokla. KLG, Kentucky Long Chicken. What? What do they stand for? Oh no, they've turned the kernel into a chicken. Kentucky Large Gajicken. Kentucky Lame Girls. I've been sitting here for a hot minute staring at this, trying to figure out what these stand for. Nah, they just dumb bamboozled me. They're like, let's just put three letters together. I don't care what they are. It's like Final Fantasy. Fun fact, when they came up with a name for Final Fantasy, they are like, I don't care what words you give me. Just I want the abbreviations to be FF. You can make it stand for whatever you want. So they're like, okay, you know what? Final Fantasy. And that's how they came up with it. A, B, SIDS. What? Instead of Adidas, A, B, SIDS. You know, if you just like squint and look at it really quick, it looked like Adidas. It looked legit. But why pay for an Adidas name brand duffel bag when you could buy A, B, SIDS? Or maybe it's Absids. Or maybe it's A, B, SIDS. <laughs> Crocs, but make them off brand. Corks. <laughs> at least they left the logo for the crocodile. I mean, if you want to make it accurate, Corks. Wow, y'all really out here making face of everything, anything you could possibly think of. Sharpie has a fake, and it's called Skirple? Skirple or Skirpy? Skirp 
Well, seems legit. Oh! This ain't real. This can't be real, but it looks scary legit. You Rugrats. Don't wanna get copyrighted, just add a G in the front. Are you good to go? I don't know, Rugrats had a game. Rugrats. Even the cake. How do you make a cake off brand? This dude name is Bort. This is that I eat my shorts? Eat pant. My name Bort. Eat pant. It looked like he ate his pant. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Epic collab of knockoff restaurants. This is how other countries see us, by the way. We got a Lego set for Western food. First, we got Pizza Shop, then Hamburger Hut. It's got an M as a logo, by the way. Sandwich. That is all. Fried Chicken Hut. FCS. What is FCS? I swear they're just putting random letters and they swear it stands for something. Fried Chicken S sucks. Oh my god, it could actually stand for that. Okay. We ain't trying to get a copy strike from Disney. Call her the Ice Lady. Elsa Anna Na. Ice Lady. And her signature song, Release It Now. Release it now. Release it now. I can't suffer anymore. Pop Station. The value pack. Back in the day we had a PSP before all y'all kids got your Switch now. So apparently this only plays Tetris. All those buttons, that fancy screen, and all it can do Tetris. <laughs> Superheroes, Avengers New Arrival. Can we get a round of applause? Buzz Lightyear has joined the Avengers. Wow, he gonna leave Woody just like that. And do you go throw me away? I'm off to bigger and better things. <laughs> <laughs> this is a knockoff of the North Face. You know, those popular jackets all the privileged children wear. But here we got the huge mountain. You know, because everyone who wears these, they hike. We're just gonna put text to make it look like it's saying something important. Because it's just the huge mountain. <gasps> oh my god. Uncomfortable fat guy underwear. PETA, is that you? 6XL? How fitting. I mean, that's one way to market your fat guy underwear. Another one. RFC real freaking chicken. That's how you know it's good. Why do good girls like bad guys? Goo girls. Also, it's like girls who work at Google. Goo girls. I don't know what this is. Do I want to know? Probably not. Hello friends, it's me. And today we are going to be trying out some more dumb clothing hacks to see if they actually work. Let me waste my time so you don't have to. You know, some of these might seem promising. Oversized coat? Nah, not anymore. You just grab a pair of scissors and time to desecrate this coat. Buttoned it, tucked it. What? No way, you got that cute AF two piece suit set from snipping your old blazer. It looks so put together, so fancy. Mwah. Watch me do it, and it's gonna look like trash. Are you sick and tired of looking like a CEO? Do your employees think you look too rough? Well, I'm gonna teach you how to thought it up. I think I'll just take my suit jacket and slice. We're just cutting it in half, right down the center. Oh no, I almost cut the extra buttons. It's crazy how this cuts more easily than a flimsy t-shirt. Now we got a two-piece suit set. <laughs> We gotta put it on like, oh it has pockets. Wow. Now we button the button to make it official. Okay, there's one button. Is it looking like a skirt? If it doesn't, tuck it in to make it look like a skirt. This looks ridiculous, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But wait, suit jacket. Now I don't have a button on this, okay? And the skirt situation is just awkward. <laughs> look, I lost 25 pounds by cutting my suit. This look deserves the mirror. Come, come, come. Oh, okay, you know, I see what they were trying to do. In some alternate universe, this could have been cute. I could have tucked it in. It do be looking straight out of Balenciaga though. Do I dare look at the back? But it's box. What is this? It's like a secret pocket. But there's no pocket. Is it for a tail? But I'm not a dog. I could hide so many snacks in here. I could probably even put a dog in here. Ash, bring your dog to work day. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. Oh no, her feet are hanging out. Rate this look in the comments below. Five being the best, zero being the worst. Big old dress shirt. Oh. You know, I really do appreciate these hacks where you don't have to cut anything. No permanent damage was done to these garments. All right, I don't know how I feel about the denim. It could work. You know, I'm gonna give them the benefit of a doubt. I ain't gonna roast you too hard until I actually try it. I feel like I need very specific instructions for this one. My flannel is not long enough. Where am I supposed to get a flannel dress from? It's not every day you come across a denim flannel dress. So we're gonna make a shirt version of this. So I have this like half button, I have the sleeves. I'm gonna cross them, okay? And then I'm gonna take the button and the hook from each side. 
This is difficult, baby, and you tell. Why do these feel so short? It's five in the morning. And not because we wake up early. No, it's actually, six. it's almost six. I can't believe it's still dark outside. Okay, well, this is this is what I got. I hope you like it because I don't and somebody should like it. There's nothing good to say about this hack. This just looks ridiculous. I feel like the idea was okay. I'm going to undo the neck button that we spent so long trying to do. Okay, so hear me out. This is a better hack you can do. You see the sleeves? I just pulled my thing down and then I'm gonna tie it right here. That's perfect. This is really cute. This is something I would actually wear. Look at that. It's so easy, snatches you up and this could pass as like an actual shirt that's like really cute. Or if you wanted, you could tie it in the back too. Wow, yes. Whatever we did before, that was no. <laughs> Wait, where did her dress go? We just gonna completely ignore the dress was a dress. It's, it's a bodysuit now. It is a bodysuit now. Isn't it gonna be bunchy? Oh wait, it might actually be bunchy in all the right areas. Some added thickness. I really love this dress, but can I wear it with jeans? And then just have like this part as a top, I think it would be really cute. So I have my jeans. These ones are very uh, holy. Get it, cause I'm a nun. Oh, where does all this excess go? All this excess skirt, really shove it in there. Okay, I'm trying. Temps are being made. And then this one's a struggle because it's buttons. Oh, it's too tight. Oh, okay. Doesn't look sus or anything? Like from what I can see on the camera, hold on, let me, let me hide my shorts. This might actually be pretty cute. Yeah, but y'all prove me wrong. You can tuck a whole skirt from a dress in jeans and it's like fine, right? I don't look like lumpy. It feels lumpy, probably cause I know there's like a whole entire like skirt in there, but I'm gonna go live, it's kinda cute. So she has a big old t-shirt, took the pockets, put a belt in them, tucked in the pockets and then, then wrapped around the belt. That does look like a skirt. It looks pretty legit if you ask me. High hopes for this one. We're gonna take the neck hole and put our feet through. Okay, no, I'm a little too thick for this. It might not work. Ooh. We're in. Now you have your shirt on the wrong hole. And then we're gonna take a belt, put it in through the arms so it comes out like that, like a snake. Crisscross it and then do the belt. I can't see what I'm doing. Wait, are we tucking the pockets in or not? We just, this, this is it, the skirt. Wow, so boho. It reminds me of the samurai. What do you think? Mm, blue, white fashion. I don't know, I was thinking it was gonna be way cuter than this, but I feel like I did it wrong. <laughs> This is a no for me. Wearing your shirt as a skirt, what are you thinking? I feel like if you really wanted to do that, you would just like tuck in the sleeves like that. Excuse you, I am trying to cook right now. And then just like wear it like that. Like what's wrong with this? Why you gotta put a belt into the mix? Actually, I kind of like it like this. The pockets are nice. And it's like for people who want warm hands. She took a big old shirt, cut it into a tank top. So, oh, we gotta sew. We really gotta sew. I ain't trying to sew today. Sew in a rubber band. Rubber band. I don't know who you think I am, but I'm not that skinny. And then they took some safety pins, pinned it together like this, and made this dress. All right, that's very cute. High hopes for this one. I like it a lot. I'm gonna ruin your shirt for this. No. It's a pretty big shirt. It's wide. So I need to make a skirt out of this. I think we're just gonna like start by cutting it in half. I gotta make sure the skirt section is long enough. One day I will buy fabric scissors for these hacks. Until then we're gonna struggle cut everything. That's the jaggediest edge I ever, oh! Looking like some crusty nacho cheese. There we go. We have to somehow make this into a skirt. And now this into a tank top. I'm gonna fold this and then cut it. So we're basically making this into a brand new shirt. This mustard shirt never existed. She's gonna be a dress soon. I think I messed up. No, okay, we're good, we're good. We're gonna cut the collar off. Really scoop that neck. Scoop it so that mother may not approve of it anymore. All right, there we go. Boom, tank-ish top. And now we glue the sides. It's a hole. I'm going to flip it. I refuse to sew, so we're going to glue. Reloading. 
So basically, I'm just closing the sides that I opened up. Make sure it'll leave enough space for the armholes. We gotta put arms through these one day. Now, fun fact, almost every cosplay I've ever done, I glued the pieces together. I didn't sew them. That's why I don't wear them at conventions. Everything just falls apart, like my life. I'm gonna turn it inside out. Wham, bam, we got a semblance of a shirt, ma'am. You know what, if you really like this hack, you can take the time and effort to do it very clean, like with a sewing machine, like professional. But you know, we don't do professional on this channel. You can watch five minute crafts for that. <laughs> so I have to make this into a skirt. We're just gonna guess the measurements. I'm just gonna glue the excess fabric on the back of this and hope it stays. Flip it inside out -y. I have the safety pins. I don't know if I should like do this now, but basically I'm gonna, why these don't go through the fabric? Boom. Okay, time to make this edgy. I did that wrong. I don't know why the safety pin is like struggling to go through this $6 fabric. This is a real hack. When you have frayed edges like this, you just pull them and then look, it makes like this nice little, that's a real hack. Wow. Okay, I think this is coming along pretty nicely if I do say so myself. Looking like some bootleg fashion nova, but does it pass the wear test? So I added more safety pins. You know what, I kinda like how this came out. It's decent, This just this part, I feel like I should've flipped the skirt so it's like this part was on the outside. I, I, I messed up the skirt, that's my fault. You know what, this hack 100% works. It's doable. I feel like if you really wanted to and wanted to put like a little more effort than I put in, you can make a really cute wearable dress out of an oversized t-shirt. So, you know what, I do like the yellow though and the safety pins are just, I like the sound it makes. Overall, not bad. I'm not gonna hate on this hack. Overall, pleasantly surprised. Oh, I can't say the same about the back. It's got a scoop. We got a regular t-shirt here. Ugh, baggy, disgusting. Take a hair tie, roll it up your sleeve. Bro, my circulation gonna cut off in three, two, one. I've been seeing these shirts all over Instagram. They're super trendy right now. I thought you'd just like roll your sleeves, but apparently you can do it this way, so. I'm the type of person who can't even wear a hairband on my wrist without feeling like I'm gonna pass out. Slightly anemic check. I'm really hoping to completely transform this look. As you can see, oversized t-shirt. I have a hairband. Oh no, it's like when they put a band on your arm before they give you a shot. I already don't like it. I'm gonna take all that excess sleeve meat. Pray this doesn't snap. Okay, that is very awkward. Okay. It doesn't look like it did in the video. I feel like if you mess with this for a while, you could probably get it neat enough. I'm gonna tuck in the rest and see if that helps. Oh, yeah, you know what? It's, it's okay. It's like I'm not complaining, but I am losing circulation in my arms as we speak right now. Maybe it should be up higher. Maybe they'll make it work better. Why it built like that? This shirt does not want to cooperate today. You know what? We're just gonna. Mm. There we go. That's better. I, I feel like that looks better. I don't even need a hairband for it. This is a mess. And I'm not impressed. I don't like it. You can take your hair bands. Oh, that feels so much better. They called hair bands for a reason. I'd rather just like take your hair band, boom, just like that. You feel an extra fancy? Roll up the bottom of your sleeves. I always have to get someone to do this for me. You know what? I think I did it better. My hack's different, but it's better, more efficient. It looks good 360. I mean, sorry. Right. <laughs> if you don't like the knot, you tuck that bad boy in. No, it looks weird. Don't tuck it in. Or a fat knot, because this is not a good hack. Hello friends, it's me. And today we're gonna be checking out everyday things, but mini. Time to go shopping in my miniature grocery store. Oh, we're only buying green items today, it appears. Is that bug spray? Y'all put the spray, the Pringles, and then the bug spray came out of nowhere. Y'all have an ant infestation. And then even the bags and everything. This is so cool that they built a mini grocery store. And then the spray, does you have small that is? Would not even be one sip. Good thing you bagging it yourself. The cashier would have definitely judged you. Back to the miniature grocery store. Except we got iPhones by the produce. And they opened it up and there is an actual iPhone 11 in there. It's even got the stickers, how dare you? The charger, no way. I cannot believe this. The detail. Somebody buy this for their pet immediately. Let me buy an iPhone off wish.com. This is actually a very good replica. I am impressed by the details. Y'all remember her? She had possibly one of the greatest mini collections. And now, she got a mini water gun. I'm opening it right now, I'm so excited. Also, someone in my last video where I was opening one of these told me to use a can opener and open it and said it would be easier, so I'm gonna try it. What a life hack. Whoa, 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 whoa. You could open the pesky plastic packaging with a can opener? That's genius. Why is nobody talking about this? God, 
<laughs> I gotta fill it up. Okay, I'm filling it up. I had to submit it. It's got like it. a pump. It's so tiny. Like a shoddy. It's so tiny in here. Ooh, I wanna see oh, this in action. Okay, I think it's so full, but I also don't really it know. Look, it looks so realistic. So I just pump it. <gasps> what? I want it's it. It's so powerful. Why am I spraying my phone? That so suits so far. I have that to the list of things I have never seen. A mini water gun shotgun. Drop the link. I want to torment the bugs living rent free in my house. Another thing I haven't seen. Making a tiny clay pot. I didn't even think this was possible. Look how small it is. It is so tiny. And like the detail. Oh my goodness. They painted it blue. Pop that flower in there. It's beautiful. This is marriage proposal quality. But it is simply too small. Let's put away extra mini brand. Oh, that is a lot of extra baby bell cheese. <gasps> Lunchables! I didn't even know mini brands had Lunchables. I didn't get any of this cool stuff. All I got was multiple cans of baked beans. Hey, yo, you got too many of them. The lotion bottles. I cannot believe this. Don't mind me just admiring your collection. On my second channel, I opened up a bunch of mini brands, but I didn't get anything this cool. We got the Magnum ice cream. You can't tell me there's a real ice cream in there. <gasps> Mini ice cream bars. You know, all I can think about is how that milk is stolen from cows to make that ice cream bar. Wah! This guy made a Lego replica of a whole town. All right, bud, welcome to the collection. On the shelf you go. <laughs> I'm in severe credit card debt. I mean, buying a town will do that to you, even if it's Lego. Show me your collection of little things. This is my time to shine, let's begin. To start off, we have this tiny little phone. Hello, it's also a magnet. Then we have this old timey phone. It even has a spinning rotary dial on it. You can spin we have this it? tiny little mini washing machine. You pop it open, it even looks like a washing machine on the inside. Certified cheese grater interior. I think it checks out, but can it wash my Barbie's clothes? Then we have this, which is a little mini toaster. It works. Oh, it then works? Then we have this, which is a little mini camera. It flashes. <gasps> Then we have this tiny little baby flashes. lamp. It even has a little tiny plug on it. <gasps> we also have these two Grecian busts. We have a little small. shopping basket. A lot of people collect mini things. I love seeing all the random small things they have. Lacing up normal shoes is already a struggle. And here we have the tiniest little shoe. And using a pair of tweezers, they are lacing it up so Barbie can wear her Converse. No way. I can't believe how tiny this is. And it's got so much detail that you can actually lace it up. Tie your teeny tiny shoes. The worst part about this is when you do one, you still got another. Hey, we did it, we did it. Oh, the other one was already done. Shoes tied. They cut the head off of a toothbrush. Murder, I tell you. Y'all decapitated a toothbrush. But for good cause. Made a whole broom out of it. So Barbie can clean her crusty, musty house. Yeah, put her to work. All right, I'll give it to you. That's a pretty good idea. I was cleaning my mixing bowl and then decided to make the world's smallest loaf of bread. Oh, well, the dough is already done. All you gotta do is mix it up some more. Put it in the littlest container. It looks like a swollen breadcrumb. Oh, it actually looks very nice. Oh, yes, slices, very nice. Put some peanut butter on one slice and jelly on the other. Also making the world's smallest peanut butter jelly sandwich. The sandwich took three hours to make. That is excessive. It was a very time-consuming crumb. Bought a new house, time to renovate, add a new tile wall, new floors, even a bathtub. A bathtub made out of clay. Most of these are like sculpted out of clay. We got one of those fancy ladder towel holders. Oh my goodness, they made a whole entire bathroom. But Minnie, this was the person that did the most when they had a diorama project. Like, I can't believe they took this empty box and transformed it into a brand new renovated bathroom. We even got one of those fancy modern toilets. Oh wait, that's the real one. What? It's a replica of theirs. I thought that was the, the mini one. I almost could not tell the difference. So that's the mini one. And then that's the real one. Ah, very cool. <gasps> is that an ice cube tray? Tiny. And you could actually freeze it and then crack out the smallest ice. Oh, Lord. I can't imagine how hard it would be. One touch of the faucet and it's filled with water. At least that's easier than the actual life-size one. You gotta make sure the water hits the middle of it so it doesn't splash out and the water goes very evenly. If you know, you know. They got a bowl of mini ramen and you open it up and there's actual noodles in there. Wait, we're making this like real ramen. First add the sauce. Where's the seasoning packet? That was like three pieces of seaweed. You call that seasoning? That was disrespectful. A squirt of sriracha ain't sauce either. I'm being too critical. They ain't even cut that with their fake scissors. That ramen ain't cooked. It still ain't cooked. 
up. It's still a solid piece. When it's done, it should be long. Like Rapunzel's hair. It's still curly. If it ain't rope teeny, it's not supposed to be curly. This has got to be the most random. You see this right here? This street mini. Hand for comparison. And then these are magnets. A light pole just sticks. A door. And it's a magnet and it just sticks onto the mini city. Imagine spoiling a hamster with a mini town. Maybe he'd be a little gangster trying to bust through the keep out door. I don't know y'all's hamsters like that. I pack my mini suitcase, go on my mini trip, got my laptop, camera, shampoo, soap in case I get stinky, glasses, and we be on our way. <laughs> so nice of you to pack your pet cockroach's bag before evicting him from your house. <laughs> I just made the best purchase of my life. <gasps> mini mugs. Oh! See, this is what I want to see mini things being used for. I want y'all's hamsters, y'all's rats. Y'all overgrown cockroaches to be living their best life. And as we can see, he is utilizing that cup. He's actually drinking from it. He's holding it like a normal person. I don't like rats, but that's very cute. I had no idea Claire sells things this cool. Where was this when I was growing up? They had to like step it up a bit, you know? Stop being lame. Bring out the lip balm vending machines. You put the fake coins in and it dispenses it. It's so cool. So they cut a bunch of pieces of plastic. I was watching this like, what are you making? Cut some plastic, parts of a bottle. <gasps> they added wheels. Are we making a car? No, this ain't no car. The cap of a pen. Y'all are creative, creative. The pump of a soap dispenser. Take a straw, bend it. Who's that? Pokemon. It's Pikachu. No, a razor. It keeps going on. Paint it red. Paint everything red. Oh, the vacuum. The vacuum. All that hoopla to make a miniature vacuum. This is one of those fancy ones. It's even got that long attachment. Whoa, that was impressive. Not gonna lie, y'all had me in the first half. <gasps> a pick and mix, like for candy. Oh, I love going to the Ikea. And then they got one of these, but like a giant one. Or like the candy store. But now they got the mini one. Oh, they have the egg gummies. I love the egg gummies. The soda bottles. Are those dots? I don't like dots. Can't say I'm a fan. Oh, uh, ain't nobody use those. When I was a kid, we go to a candy store. I would just, when no one's looking, I am simply sampling. That's why they have to put up the ask for a sample sign. What should I make? A vinyl? Whoa. Okay, that was very creative. Made a mold out of clay. Painted it. Even the record player. Oh, it's all very detailed. The shelf with all the records painted on it. We have the whole dang setup. The record player, the record collection, and then the record itself. Oh, can fit in between two fingers. Y'all are wild with these. Here is me and five paintings I've completed. And as you can see, they are very small. Here is a coin for comparison. And this is what they look like up close. <gasps> they are so detailed. Oh my goodness. I was expecting like some scribble. No, these look like they were drawn with a single hair off a horse's butt. Again, coin for comparison. How was it so tiny and so detailed? Sheesh.